Welcome to the special election in Pennsylvania's 18th Congressional District. Democrat Connor Lamb is taking on Republican Rick Saccone in a race to fill the term of Republican Tim Murphy. He resigned after asking his mistress to have an abortion. The national press is watching. Democrats are all in. Go out and make sure he wins. This all sounds familiar, but it isn't because it doesn't actually matter who wins. You get through this hurdle, we'll see you in the fall too. It's gonna to be a, a long and interesting campaign yeah. here, there's no doubt. See, the 18th will basically cease to exist the moment voters cast their ballots on Tuesday. Every political organizer around here has had to become a cartographer overnight. Hey Nancy, how are you? Good, I'm doing great. Yeah. The 14th? becomes the 18th, the 18th becomes the 14th, and the 12th becomes the 17th, and what else? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that sounds pretty good to me. In February, Pennsylvania Supreme Court completely redrew the congressional map after ruling it unfairly favored Republicans. So if Lamb wants to stay in Congress after the special election, he has to run in a completely new district. Everyone's having to run two races at the same time. Everyone is. That's what they're doing. It's insane. But, I, you know, I feel really bad for the candidates. We have candidates that have been working, not knowing any of this was ever going to happen. Now, they've lost a lot of their base that they had worked on for years. So, um, it, it is challenging. This is Mount Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Right now, it's in the 18th Congressional District, which is Trump country. So, if you're a Democrat, to win it, you have to win over conservatives. But if the map holds, it's gonna be in the 17th Congressional District. So for a Democrat to win that, they're gonna to have to be able to win over progressives. So the question is, can you have both those conversations on the same street at the same time? That's the challenge for Lamb, the whip-smart Marine reservist and former prosecutor. He's running as a conservative Democrat, which is perfect for the 18th. Where do you stand on each of these proposals? A ban on AR-15s, a raise in the minimum age to 21 to purchase rifles, and a ban on bump stocks. My opponent and I both support the Second Amendment, but the difference is he's called for the elimination of the background check system here in Pennsylvania. I support universal background checks. No loopholes, period. Uh, as far as the proposals that you talked about, I think the most important thing for us to focus on is to act now. So if we can get agreement on any proposal, bipartisan agreement, we should, but we're hearing agreement on one thing right now, which is the I'm universal background check system. I'm gonna ask system. you to actually answer Elaine's question about raising sure. the age limit to 21 on rifles, yes or no? I'm open to it, but I don't support it right now because I don't think it's where the agreement happens and those of us running for Congress should talk about the bills we know can pass. His message is working. Polls put the race within a few points, which is wild for a district this Republican. But are you committed to running for Congress again if you win this, win yes, this race? Yes, absolutely. So that means you have to run in a, in a new district? Probably. Presumably, yeah. Right. I mean, I guess the courts could, could freeze the entire thing and leave us under the current lines. So that's why I've said, let's wait and see. Uh, I know that I'm asking people in the 18th district for the right to represent them, and that's all I'm thinking about right now. Do you worry that any of the things you have to say to win this race might affect a Democratic primary in another place? Not at all. No. Really? I mean, you were pretty conservative on guns, for example. I'm just telling people what I think. The Democratic primary to run in the new district, the 17th, is in May. A bunch of Democrats are already running. Yeah. I'm Beth Teresi. I'm running for Congress okay. in the uh, 17th Congressional District. Beth Teresi started her primary campaign more than a year ago. Listen to her talk about guns. I'm a mother. Uh-huh. And uh, I don't go for schools being shot up. That's, that's wrong. We need to do something about the, the guns. So would a pro, like a strongly pro Second Amendment Democrat have a hard time winning the 17th? Yes. So next Tuesday, Lamb has to win the voters who like what he says about guns now. Two months and two days later, he has to win with the voters who like what Terezi says about guns. This is what happens when Democrats get everything they want at once. They wanted a candidate who could run in Trump country, and they got one in Lamb. 
and they wanted a new, more favorable district map in Pennsylvania. And they got that too from the state Supreme Court. The result, frankly, is chaos. But no one's really interested in talking about that yet. Right now, Democrats just want to win. When they started out, the whole thing was supposed to be, you know, can the Republicans win on the Trump tax cuts? Can the Democrats win with a sort of moderate person? You know, is this a rising star? Are all those questions, doesn't really matter now, right? This is the beginning of the blue wave. And in a 20 plus Trump district, if Connor Lamb wins that, even if he comes close, I mean, this is national. This is huge. Just soaking this in for a second here. I'm sorry. 